Hello everyone. Welcome to Graphic Designers Workshop. Let us see some interesting examples in text in Illustrator. So let us start. So here is the panel where we can find different types of type tool or the text tool. So we can access one of the text tools here and in case if it is not already open this panel in case it is if it is already not open we can always go to this tools panel and uh, here we can find the type tool just click and hold your mouse so that you can see different types of type tools here different uh, varieties of type tools are present over here and if you want uh, this panel to be outside outside this uh, tools panel so you can just simply click here so that this uh, panel appears as a free floating panel and we can easily access any of the type tools from this panel right so we'll select the first one which is a simple and a basic one so simply click here some default text appears and we'll remove the default text and we will type our own text right and then we will just use the selection tool keep it at the center and uh, some of the simple things uh, that we already know are uh, we can increase the size of the text simply by dragging the corners or we can also put a specific value in this input field which is the font size so we can just uh, put uh, 150 points okay and uh, here we have different types of fonts we can select any one of uh, the interesting fonts here right and uh, we can apply any color to the text so here uh, we have uh, the color option we can uh, just select any of the color and we can apply that particular color to the text right so these are the simple things uh, and uh, they are not uh, that much interesting so let us dive into the interesting stuff right so first thing uh, what we can do is uh, let's create some extra outlines or extra strokes to this text so for that what we need to do is we can uh, simply open the appearance panel so the appearance panel is uh, already open for me but what we'll do is in case the appearance panel is not open we can go to window and here we have uh, the appearance panel so the shortcut is shift plus f6 right so once the appearance panel is active just to the right corner of the appearance panel we can find a hamburger menu simply click on that hamburger menu and here we have an option add new fill just create an extra fill over this text right so now we got a, a black color and uh, we'll do one more thing that is uh, we will first apply an offset path to this text simply click on this fx icon at the bottom of this appearance panel and we'll go to path and here we have an option offset path right and uh, we can actually make it small if you want see here when i made it small we can see here and i have given it a, a minus uh, six points and uh, we can change the joints as round right and we can slightly increase it if we want right and we can change the color to let's say yellow and we can see here 
and we can make it more interesting by applying some more paths or some more fills. So let's add uh, some more fills to this text and uh, make sure that the text is active. If the text is not active, it's not possible to add uh, new fills to this text. Right. So now the text is active and uh, we'll again click on this top right corner hamburger menu and we will simply click on this add new fill right and here one more fill is applied and uh, we can change the color here right and uh, also we can use this uh, fx icon and we will go to path and we will click on offset path and again uh, we will increase the size of the offset path and uh, we'll change the joints to round and we'll simply click OK. And uh, here we got the green color, but we are not able to see the yellow color. So what we can do is we can change uh, the stacking order. So we'll simply uh, select the yellow one and then drop it over the green one. And we can see here. Now we can see yellow as well as green. And uh, we can also do one more thing here. Uh, in case uh, we think uh, the green color is uh, too much, we can uh, reduce the offset here. So the offset here is having 12 points. We can make it a little bit small. So now we can see here. Right. And uh, we can make it more interesting. We can add one more fill. So simply, we will uh, just go to the appearance uh, panels uh, hamburger menu and here we will click on add new fill. And one more fill is applied and uh, this time what we'll do is uh, we'll again uh, apply a, a path to this offset path and uh, we'll make it small this time. So we can make it small. and uh, we'll try to give it a different color so we can see here but the blue color is not uh, showing up uh, and it's not uh, that much thick so what you'll do is we'll just click on the offset path again and we can slightly uh, increase the blue color so we can see here we can see three different colors and uh, we can always uh, change uh, the thickness of these colors so we can also try with the green one first so we will uh, just reduce the offset path for the green one so now we can see all the three colors uh, and all these three colors are having the same kind of thickness right so this is one interesting thing that we can do in the text and we can add more and more fills to this and we can also add uh, a stroke so let's try a stroke this time and uh, here we'll click on this uh, hamburger menu again and we'll just select add new stroke so this time i have added a stroke and we can see a black stroke around and in case we want to increase the thickness we can increase it right but we'll change the color of the stroke to uh, let us say uh, we can change it to let's say blue see here now we have blue yellow and light blue and also there is green but uh, we can actually uh, reduce the stroke here because the blue stroke is covering the green color right so this is one simple uh, example that we can do here we have type on a path tool so what we can do with this tool we can put the text on a path so let us see how we can put the text on a path I will be creating a path first. 
we'll select the pen tool and uh, make sure that the stroke is active and uh, we'll turn off the fill and uh, we can give a black color stroke right and we will now create a path and we are creating a path with the pen tool and we can just adjust it a little bit right so now what we'll do is we will select the type on a path tool and we'll just click on this path and uh, how we are supposed to click see the moment you see the curved dots you just have to click on this path that's it some default text is now placed on this path so we'll remove this default text by using uh, backspace and we will also reduce the size of the text right now the text size is uh, very big so what we'll do is we will keep it to say let's say 48 points right and uh, we can also change the font let's uh, keep it uh, let's change the font to impact right and let's start typing the text so we'll just type rs art and media that's it so now the next thing is we will select the direct selection tool the direct selection tool will help us to move the text on this path so we can move the text on this path by selecting the direct selection tool and we can place it wherever we want so we can place it on the left side or we can place it on the right side so wherever we want we can place it right so see here once we see a small arrow a very small arrow we have to start moving the text right and there is one more thing that we can do that is we can also move the text a little bit away from the path right now the text is sitting exactly on top of the path if you want to move the text a little bit away from the path here we have the character options the character options here and in case uh, we are not able to find the character options over here we can always go to the window menu and in window menu we need to scroll down and then here we have to select the type and in type we can always select this character so if you just click on this character a character panel will appear so we can uh, straight away uh, just open the character panel and use these options so what we'll do is to the top or right corner of this character panel here we have a hamburger menu and if you click on that here you can see show options just click on that show options so that some other options are going to be present here we may not see all the options uh, the moment we open the character panel so in order to see all the options we need to click on this hamburger menu and click on this show options right right now we are able to see all the options at the bottom of this character panel we can see some option that is set the baseline shift let's try to change its value set the baseline shift so what it's doing is it's moving the text moving the text a little bit away from the path right and if we just uh, put a negative value it will move the text below the path and uh, if we just put zero the text will sit exactly on top of the path so this is how we can position the text on the path right so we can place it wherever we want and with the baseline shift we can either keep the text exactly on top of the path or a little bit away from the path right now what we'll do is uh, we will create this text on a ellipse so i will be selecting this ellipse tool 
and if you want perfect ellipse we will hold shift and create an ellipse and uh, right now we have a fill inside the ellipse we will change the fill to stroke simply we will click on swap fill and we have made the fill into a stroke now we will select the type on a path tool and uh, we can type something here see just the moment you see this dotted curve just click on this path that's it now we can see we have a text on an elliptical path so we will just uh, put our own text here so we'll just type rs art and uh, media half of graphic designers right and we will select the direct selection tool and we will position the text we can place the text anywhere on this ellipse and if we want to make the text start from the bottom bottom of this ellipse we have to just move it like this and we have to use the direct selection tool and just we need to get the extra text some text goes hiding and uh, what, whatever part is hiding uh, it is displayed uh, with the red color uh, plus symbol and we need to move that symbol and we can get back all the text and we will slightly uh, move this rs this uh, the starting uh, point of the text that's it so now we have placed the text properly on this ellipse and in case we want to increase the size of this text we can always do that just highlight the text and we can always use shift control and greater than right and we will just use the direct selection tool and then position it properly right so now we have placed the text properly on an ellipse and we can change the color right and uh, the next thing is if you want to break the connection between the ellipse and the text we can always go to object object menu and we can select expand right and uh, all we have to do is just simply click on simply click ok now we have broken the connection or the link between the text and the path right and uh, we can make it uh, more interesting we can create uh, one more ellipse here and then we can just place it uh, inside uh, this text right and uh, we can just uh, take one more ellipse so we can use uh, control c and control b so if we hit control b an ellipse is created behind the original ellipse and we will just use alt and shift to just increase it and we can give some color to this and we can put this uh, blue color ellipse behind the text simply right click on this ellipse and here we have arrange and we will select send to back right so something like this and uh, to make it more attractive we can give gradient colors to this blue ellipse so we can uh, just apply some gradient uh, coloring and we will also change the text color to pure white right and we can also change the central ellipse color to a gradient color so we can uh, we can try some custom gradients so we can just uh, 
change the gradient color so we will um, just use this uh, color panel to change the colors right and we will use the radial gradient here right right and uh, to make it make to make the text more interesting we'll select the text and we'll go to effect and in effect we have a stylize and we will also apply a drop shadow to it right and we can stick to the default values or we can change the offset here right so something like this we can slightly reduce the opacity if you want right and uh, one interesting thing we'll do is we'll also put a text inside uh, this uh, blue ellipse for that what we'll do is uh, we'll simply type we'll simply type rsa rsa and then we will just keep it over here and we can give some um, bright color bright yellow color to this text and uh, here we have some options so here we can see this uh, make envelope just click on that and once you click on that warp options dialog appears so in this warp options dialog we can see plenty of interesting textiles so here we have the arc, arc shape by default we can select some other shapes here see bulge we can also change the bend value here so see here and we can also uh, combine the bend value with the horizontal and vertical options or vertical distortions so something like this so we can uh, try with this uh, vertical distortion also right and we can also check the other things like uh, the flag and uh, we can also check uh, something called the fish the interesting option is going to be the bulge so we can uh, use the bulge and uh, we can try to just change this bend value and we will keep these horizontal and uh, vertical distortion values to zero and we can see here right and uh, we can make it a big a little bit big we can also select uh, one more ellipse simply hold shift and create an ellipse and we can change the fill to stroke and uh, we can select a pure white color stroke then we will just keep it over here right and we can use alt shift to center scale right we can take one more copy of this uh, elliptical uh, stroke so we can use ctrl c and ctrl f a duplicate is created in the front so we can just use alt shift and we can create one more additional uh, stroke an elliptical stroke so that it looks a little bit attractive right so we can create uh, some kind of uh, stamp uh, logo with these options right and we can place this stamp logo exactly at the center of this document or let us say artboard we will now create an arc and uh, place our text on an arc so we'll select the ellipse and we will hold shift and create a perfect ellipse and we will now swap the fill we'll make the fill into stroke and now we will cut this ellipse and create an arc so what we'll do is we'll just select this anchor point and here we have an option cut path at selected anchor points 
and we'll also do the same for the left side anchor point just select that point and here we have the option cut path at selected anchor points right now the ellipse is broken into two pieces we can see an arc we can see an arc path on top as well as at the bottom so now we will place the text on this arc path so we'll just uh, position them properly right so we'll select the type on a path tool and we'll first place a text on the top uh, on the top arc path so we'll just click on the path some default text is uh, placed so we'll remove the default text and we'll place our own text so we will also uh, reduce the size here let's keep it to let's say 60 points and we'll type some text right and uh, we will increase the size we can use control shift greater than right and we can use direct selection tool and we can just uh, keep the text at the center of this path right so this looks fine but uh, we will also place the text on the bottom arc path so let's select the type on a path tool and we will just click on the path right so again we will uh, delete the default uh, text and we will start typing our own text so we will say and media and uh, what will happen is actually we might lose some uh, text actually so we have to first position the text properly and we will use the direct selection tool and we will move this text to the right corner and uh, we can just uh, start typing but uh, we can observe something here so the text is inverted the text is appearing upside down so we have to fix it so we'll see how we'll fix it right so right now we have an upside down text so we will first fix it to fix the upside down text what we need to do is we will go to the type menu and in type menu we will just select the type on a path and here we have type on a path options just click on it and once we click on it uh, we will also uh, turn on this preview option in this type on a options type on a path options dialog so that we can see the changes and we will just uh, turn on this preview and here we have a, a number of options here uh, let's keep the option as a rainbow we can also try these options but for this example rainbow is the right option and here we will first click on this flip so we can see here immediately we can see some change and also one more thing we have to change here is here align to path option is baseline but instead of baseline we will select ascender right so now see now the text is appearing perfectly just click ok and uh, we can now uh, just uh, move the text so simply we will just uh, move the text properly right so see here and we can just keep it close to the the top text right so we have uh, created something different and uh, in this way we can adjust the text on a path using type on a path tool and also the type on a path tool options right so we can transform the text to a particular shape using envelope distort so let us see how we can do that so let's select a rectangle 
tool and uh, make sure that the stroke is active and we'll create a rectangle we'll add some points over this rectangle using uh, the add anchor point tool and we will now use the direct selection tool to modify the shape of this rectangle a little bit so something like this it should look something like this then we will select the text and uh, we'll type some text here we'll just type graphic design right and we will just place the text on top of this uh, rectangular path uh, but for envelope distort we need to select the rectangular path and we need to bring it in front of the text so simply right click on the rectangular path select arrange and select bring to front and now we will shift select both the text and also the rectangular path and we'll go to object menu and in object menu we have envelope distort and we'll select make with top object and we can see here and we can see how the text got transformed into that particular rectangular shape right and we will also try with another shapes so i will select a uh, rectangle again and we will uh, activate the stroke we will turn off the fill and we will again add uh, some points over this rectangle and we will modify the shape again so it looks something like this right so now we will type uh, we'll type superman or we'll say spider-man right so we'll just put this uh, spider-man text over this uh, rectangular path and now we will just move the path in front of the spider-man text so simply right click on the path and select arrange and we'll select bring to front right now we will shift select the rectangular path as well as the text the spider-man text and we'll go to object menu we'll select envelope distort and again we will select make with top object we can also use the keyboard shortcut alt ctrl c or in mac option command c right so now we can see here right and we will create uh, one more shape here so we'll just uh, scale them down we can just uh, move them uh, a little bit uh, outside our artboard and we will just uh, select the rectangle and we'll activate the stroke we'll turn off the fill and uh, we'll just uh, make the shape a little bit complicated this time so we'll just add anchor points we will modify the shape a little bit and we'll add some extra points here right so we'll just modify the shape a little bit so it looks different right so now we'll type the text so we'll simply select the text and this time we will type powerhouse right we'll just scale the text again we'll select the rectangular path right click on it select arrange and bring it front bring it to front right and we will shift select both the rectangular path and the text and we'll go to object envelope distort and we'll select make with top object right so here we can see we have three different shapes so we'll create just one last shape so we'll just type C here and this time uh, we will use an ellipse and also we will change the text to a uh, 
a rounded text we will use Arial rounded so we'll just select Arial rounded because this time we'll be using an ellipse ellipse has a rounded corners so it's better to use a rounded text right or rounded font so we will just activate the stroke and we'll turn off the fill and we will just uh, increase the size of the text and we will also ensure that the ellipse is in front of this word C just right click on the ellipse select arrange and we'll select bring to front and now we will shift select both the elliptical path and also the text the C text and we'll go to object envelope distort and we'll select make with top object and we can see here so we have a four different transformations so here we have a paragraph of text so we will copy this entire text and we will place it inside a shape so what we'll do is we will first create the particular shape using the pen tool we'll turn off the fill and we'll activate the stroke and we'll create a simple heart shape so something like this right and we can adjust the heart shape a little bit right so once we have adjusted adjusted the shape so what we'll do is we'll simply copy this entire text so we'll simply use uh, control a to select all the text and we'll use copy and uh, to paste the text inside the shape we have to activate the text tool and uh, we have to just move our mouse over this heart shape and uh, the moment you see a dotted circle you have to click inside this heart shape or we can say heart path just click on it that's it so we got some text but this is a default text so we'll uh, use the backspace to remove it and we have already copied the text uh, that we have saved in a notepad file and now we will paste it right so here we can see so we got the text or we can say that we got the paragraph inside this heart shape right we can also do one more thing we can select a star and we will activate the stroke again we'll turn off the fill and we will paste the same paragraph inside this star so we have already copied the text we'll just click inside this star and when we have to click inside the star when you see a, a dotted circle so when you see the dotted circle just click inside the star and some default text is pasted over there so we'll remove the text and we'll paste the text that we have just now copied right so here we can see so we can try to uh, increase or decrease the size of the text so i have uh, just decreased the size of the text and i will also change the font so we we'll let's uh, put uh, impact here so in this way we can uh, change the size of the text and also uh, we have a paragraph uh, options here so from the paragraph options I just open the paragraph panel to see the paragraph options and in the paragraph options here we have justify with last aligned left so we can just click on it so that uh, you can see uh, the text properly aligned inside this star shape I hope you enjoyed the tutorial Please do like, subscribe, share and if you have anything to say do comment. See you again.